In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can estimate model parameters using measured data. Here is our system. We have a DC motor connected to an H-bridge, which we can run in either direction. When we compare the results of our simulation to measurement data, we can see that we don't match. And this is our problem. We can see that our model is inaccurate because the model parameters are incorrect. To solve this problem, we're going to use Simulink design optimization to automatically tune the model parameters. We're going to select the model parameters and use optimization algorithms to automatically tune these parameters until the results of the simulation match the measured data. Here are the steps that we're going to use to estimate the parameters. First, we're going to import measurement data and select the data to be used for the estimation. Next, we're going to identify the parameters to be tuned and their ranges. We'll then perform the parameter estimation. You can also use Simulink Design Optimization to validate the estimation against other sets of data. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. We have a DC motor connected to an H-bridge. When we run the simulation, we can see that we are driving the motor in first one direction, then the other. The results of the simulation in yellow do not match the measured data in pink. We're going to use Simulink Design Optimization to tune those parameters. To save time, I'm going to load a project that contains the settings for this estimation. When we look at the project, we can see how we've set this up. The first step was to import measured data. When we click on measured data and look at the output data, we can see the data we're going to use for this estimation, the same data I showed you on the scope. The next step is to select the parameters to tune and their ranges. If we go into the estimation, click on the parameters tab, we can see that we have five parameters that we wish to tune and we've set the ranges for all to be a minimum of zero and a maximum of infinity. At this point we can start the estimation. When I press the start button the optimization begins. When we look at the scope every time you see the scope blink a new simulation has been run. Simulink design optimization is running the simulation, comparing the results of the simulation to the measured data, determining how far away it is and in which direction to change the parameters, and then it automatically changes the parameters for a new simulation. You can see that even in this short period of time, the results are much closer between the results of the simulation and the measured data. This is much faster than I could do it even myself if I knew exactly which values I wished to tune. At this point, I'm going to stop the estimation, for we can see that the results are extremely close to the measured data. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can use Simulink Design Optimization to tune model parameters.